Why, hello there YouTube, and welcome to a brand new episode of Horrigen Files. I am Random Ross, and this is the show where I give you a rundown on horror icons from characters, mainly monsters or killers or whatever. Anyway, this month we're going over one iconic killer, and that is Ghostface. It's a screamer, baby! Origin Files Ghostface First Appearance Scream 1996 Pathology Serial Killer Primary Location Woodsboro Horror Series The Scream Franchise Voiced by Roger L. Jackson Portrayed by Various Created by Kevin Williamson Ghostface is a serial killer that primary, primarily centers in the fictional town of Woodsboro in California, where, using the trivia and knowing of horror movie tropes, including classic slasher series such as Halloween, A Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th and many others, Ghostface taunts their victims through that knowledge letting them live if they can answer questions correctly or even toying with them making them think that he that they are in the killer's own movie and the killer itself is the director even making some of the protagonists of that series aware that they are in indeed a scary movie or a franchise as they put it the events of the first Scream movie were eventually made into a movie called Stab and then in that Scream franchise that went on to be known as the Stab franchise. The killer Ghostface is that, a hooded robed killer wearing a ghost-like mask with a screaming face, probably inspired by the Scream painting. The signature weapon that Ghostface tends to use mostly is a hunting knife, but can range from others as we've seen before in many of the other films, and has gone on to be in six films and a short-lived television show. And also disguises his voice with a cloaking mechanism and many people have died at Ghostface's hand but for a while for at least four films three characters survived the infamous killer Ghostface many a times then being Sidney Prescott, Gail Weathers and Dewey Riley but of course in the fifth installment of this series Dewey met his demise and was killed and was handed over to a new generation of characters, them being the Carpenter sisters, Sam and Terra, and the Meeks twins, who are the niece and nephew of Randy Meeks from the first two movies. Over the um, over the twenty or so years in the Scream franchise, the ghost face killer has been on taking many identities. Although voiced by one man, Roger L. Jackson, the identity of the killer has been taken on by numerous people throughout the series, also making this franchise a bit of a, a unique one by them not having just one killer, but two. In the first Scream film, the two that took on the identity were friends, Billy Loomis and Stu Mocker played by Ski Aldridge and Matthew Lillard. In the second film, the killer's identity was taken on by Mickey Altieri, played by Timothy Ullathon, 
and Mrs. Nancy Loomis, Laura Metcalf, Metcalf, in the second screen film, and in the third one, the killer's identity was Roman Bridger, played by Scott Foley, the only ghost face to go solo. In the fourth film, the identity was took on by Jill Roberts, played by Emma Roberts, and Charlie Walker, Rory Culkin. In the fifth film, the killer took her identity was Amber Freeman and Richie Kirsch, played by Mikey Madison and Jack Quaid. By the sixth film, we had three ghost face killers, them being Detective Wayne Bailey, Dermot Mallory, and Ethan, Jack Champion, and Quinn, Liana Liberato. All of these killers have always had a connection to our protagonist in the Scream franchise and have all had their motives for killing, but constantly mock and go over the tropes and cliches in slasher films. Ghostface is somewhat of a unique killer as it is not just one person, it's various people that all have an urge to kill and get a thrill out of it whether they just get a f fun out of killing and copying horror movies using horror movies to be more creative or whether it's a grudge they hold against our protagonists Ghostface also has changed locations as well with the first film taking place in Woodsboro and the third movie taking place in Hollywood and the sixth movie taking place in New York City but even when you leave the town of Woodsboro those who have survived an encounter with the ghost face killer are not safe just from moving to another location but also Ghostface likes to phone their victims and taunt them before killing them probably phoning them up asking them what is your favorite scary movie then maybe using horror movie trivia to maybe lure you into a trap but if you hear that voice that sinister voice asking what is your favorite scary movie odds are your ghost faces next victim and there you go did you enjoy this one is there anything I may have missed about Ghostface? Please feel free to share down in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends. And feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I've been Brandon Ross and this has been Horrigin Files. So until next time, don't have nightmares.